Okay, uh, fourth question from June 10, paper 61. The mean cost of fees rides is $2.5 and the standard deviation of is this zero, okay? Explain how can you, you can tell that, that the roller coaster and the water slide each cost $2.5 per ride. Hmm? If you look at this standard deviation, look at this standard deviation of uh, the fees rides is zero. So that would mean that all the all of these they have the same the same cost. Only then the the standard deviation is zero. Whenever you have the zero standard deviation, that means all the observations in the data they have the same value. Got it? Hmm? Bolo yaar. The sleeping people, Anna. Yeah. yeah, the zero standard deviation tells us that all the costs, they are same, okay? The second part, it says the mean cost is 3.76. So you have the mean is $3.76, okay? We have to find the grams uh, standard deviation, okay? So he has uh, this one, this, three, these, and six, these, okay? Now, from this first part, let us see that if this is, it says the mean cost of a fees rides is 2.5. So how many uh, rides he has had? He has had six rides, Anna. Right? So that means sigma x over six, that is equal to um, 2.5, yes? In fact, all of them, they are 2.5. So I think we should write here uh, 2.5, and this is 2.5, and let's keep this as A. We have to find this, that how much is this revolving drum is costing, okay? So can I say that this is gonna be 3.76, that is going to be one times 2.5 plus three times 2.5 plus six times alpha, yeah, six A divided by, he has taken 10 rides, okay? So this is 37.6, that is equal to 10 plus 6a. So 6a is going to be 27.6. So what is your a, Bacho? This a is going to be 4.9, hmm, 6 fours are 24. Yeah, this 4. is 4.6. 4. 4. 4.6, oh yes, 4.6. Okay, this is $4.6. So I can have a table like this, that okay, uh, this uh, $2.5 have been spent uh, one time, then again, 2.5, like let me put four over here because these both are costing the same, okay? And then you have 4.6 is being, uh, that has been paid six times, Anna. So the next column for X square, we don't need to find the mean. So I'm not going to keep a column for FX. I'll keep a column for X square, okay? So that is going to be 2.5. I'm not going to find this. I just want to save my time, okay? You will see that that is how you'll be doing it. And then your FX square, okay? That is four times 2.5 square. This is six times 4.6 square, okay? So we have, now I can find this uh, standard deviation, guys. So the standard deviation is going to be square root of, now uh, please tell me what is the sum of these two? Can someone do that quickly for me? There is no one available today. This is three, seven, double nine over 25. 
I'm not, I'm going to write this exactly. And divided by how many rights he has taken? There are 10 rights minus his mean is 3.76. So this is 3.76 square. Let's find out the standard deviation. Okay, so this one is the standard deviation. Do you have any question, Bacho? You see, I was wondering that why there are five marks for this, okay? So the five marks were because you had to find this revolving drums cost. That is why there were five marks. Otherwise, there are never more than three marks for this, okay? Just finding the standard deviation. So I'm just going to cancel this out. I'm going to move to the next paper now. This one goes away. And let's find what is there in the next paper. Okay, uh, this is from the June 10, uh, period 62. And very first question it says, first of all, it says find mean and standard division of these times. Let's do that first part quickly. So for the mean, you will be needing, um, uh, obviously this is raw data. So for the mean, you need to apply the formula sigma x over n, okay? So let's do that quickly. This is 25 and uh, 65, 73, 83, uh, 102, 116, and 132, okay? This is 132, and there are seven students, okay? So this is seven ones are, and seven eights are 56. Okay, so this is the mean here, okay? Please uh, keep a check on these things because I'm just doing that mentally. I just want to save some time here, okay? So this is the mean over here. And then when you define the standard deviation, so you will be finding, you will be squaring all these terms, okay? So I'm not gonna write all these squares because I'll be using the calculator. In my calculator, when I'll be finding the sigma x square, I'll be writing it like this 15 square plus 10 square. Please someone do that quickly for me. 15 square plus 10 square plus 48 square plus 10 square plus 19 square plus 14 square and then plus 16 square. This will give us the sigma x square. Yes. So this is uh, sigma x square. Now let's find the, um, the, now we can find that standard deviation, okay? So that is going to be sigma x square over n minus the mean square, okay? So this is going to be three, five, four, two over seven. And I'll be using this value. If my sum is correct, so this is 132 over seven squared, okay? So by using the calculator, you can find this value. So what is this standard deviation, Bita? 12.26. 1.26. 12.26. Did you find the square root as well? Hmm? So value After the, the square 12.16, it should be then written 12.2. Oh, this is such a big standard deviation. So what does this bigger value of standard deviation meaning here? Mean here. Hmm? This means the data is really, really deviated over here, okay? You see that there is this 48 over here, you know? So this is, this has no, this is far away from the rest of the values over here. Now it says state which of the mean, median or mode you consider would be the most appropriate to use as a measure of central tendency. So measure of central tendency is actually one of these mean, median or mode, okay? So um, I think the best one would be the median here, okay? Is not asking me any reason, he's asking for the reason in the last part. For each of the two measures of average you did not choose in part two, give a reason why you consider it inappropriate. 
आई विल नॉट बी फाइनिंग बच्चो मीन बिकॉज दिस इज अ वेरी बिग वैल्यू डू यू नो वॉट वुड बी द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ दिस वैल्यू ऑन द मीन कैन एनी वन टेल दस वॉट विल हैपन टू द मीन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस फोर्टी एट इन दिस डाटा Yes, guys. Mean increase will be bigger. Yeah, you you will be getting a bigger mean that will not be giving you a true picture of this data, है ना? And so therefore, I'm not going to use this mean as the measure of central tendency. Why did I use the mode over here? Hmm? Sir, because the mode is also the smallest value. Exactly, beta. The mode is the smallest value. If if you write this in an Ascending order, so this will be falling right in the beginning of this data over, like ten, ten, blah, 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 and then you have forty-eight. So you see again, this mode will not be showing the 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 actual picture of this data over here. Okay, suppose if these were the marks of your class, so I can't say that the average is ten. Okay, there are people getting marks. Like in nineteen, sixteen, fourteen as well. So th these are the the least mark obtained by the students of this class. ठीक है ना? So therefore, median in this way is, is going to give a better uh, presentation representation of this data. Okay.